Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home. I'm Eileen. Today we're going to look at Aesthetica Designs Diana R2418 BT. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. I upload two to three times a week. And also, don't forget, follow me on Instagram. I have all my wig giveaways, makeup giveaways, coffee with the crazy wig lady. Everything happens over on Instagram at crazy wig lady. I bought this wig with my own funds from Wig Studio One. Can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. Okay, Diana, this is a perfect out-of-the-box style. I took it out of the box, put it on my head. I wanted to put it behind my ears. That's just how I like these short styles like this. has a lot, a lot of waves in this. Let me show you the back. Really cute. Like I said, out-of-the-box style. This is a basic cap, and as you know, I've said it before, I think a basic cap has its place. Don't get me wrong, I love my hand-tied caps, I love my human hair wigs, I love all of those things. I love mono features, but basic caps have a place, in my opinion. If you are new to wigs, you're just getting started, I think a basic cap is a great way to start your wig journey. Everyone has a different opinion about that. That's just mine. I feel like you can get different styles. You don't have to break the bank. They're affordable. You can try a lot of different things. You can see what colors you like, what, style, what styles you like. There's a lot to be said for basic caps, in my opinion. I, I wear them all the time. I enjoy them. I just think they're a good place to start if you're new to wigs. Okay, the specs. The bang is three and a quarter. The sides are three and a half. The crown's three and a half, and the nape's three and a half. Like I said, this is just short, out-of-the-box pixie. I ran some water through mine. You can do that. You could also uh, use some styling. Uh, cream would be nice. I just have some uh, hair you wear control hairspray right here. I'm just going to put a little in my hands and I do that a lot and I will run that through it just to piece it out. You can see I'm not highly styling this wig. There is permatease in this wig. If you don't like permatease, you're not going to like this wig. So I'd like you to know that right off the bat. The coverage is good. You can barely see my bio hair there. This fits me large. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference, and I feel like I need to take this in. It fits me very large. I have a, my face is nine inches from hairline to chin, but this could not be any easier. Out of the box, throw it on and go. Okay, let's look at this color, R2418BT. Please stay to the end of the video. I will have some uh, photos and outdoor lighting to show you as well. So this is a golden blonde, and it's been blended and tipped with ash blonde, and that is just a very good uh, description of this. You can, don't have to wear it behind your ears. You could make this big. You could pull this out, put a headband on with it, anything. I just prefer mine behind my ears and just let it flip out just a little bit. But again, Golden blonde, very golden. It is not rooted, as you can see, but it is blended with that light, just a tad of ash blonde on the ends. Let's look at the inside of the cap. Okay, the inside of the cap for Aesthetica Designs Diana. Like I said, basic cap. There is permatease here. It has open ear tabs. They have a little stay in them. Comes back to the hook adjuster extended open nape, and there is a lot of stretch in this. And like I said, this fit me large, so if you have a larger size uh, head circumference, this would probably work well. And here's another look at R2418BT. Okay guys, that's my review of Diana from Aesthetica Designs. I just slipped it on with a cute headband. Like I've always said, don't let anybody tell you you can't style short wigs different ways. You can. Just by adding something just simple as a headband, you can make this look completely different. Again, please stay to the end of the video to see more pictures of this wig and in, in outdoor lighting. Again, please like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.